Hello everyone and welcome to Children's Liturgy with me, LJ. Now today is the 33rd Sunday of Ordinary Time, so our liturgical colour is still green, but not for much longer as we're coming towards the end of our church's year and we have a very exciting time coming up. But more on that next week. Today's message is all about our gifts. So shall we get started by singing our welcome song? to see you all again, can't wait to see you all again at Children's Liturgy. Great singing! I hope you joined in at home too. Now do you remember what we do next at Children's Liturgy? I'll give you a clue, you need a hand for this one. That's right, the sign of the cross. Join in with me, from my head to my heart, shoulder to shoulder. I love you Jesus. Amen. What happens next? We need to light our candle. Why do we light our candle? To remind us that Jesus is in the room with us, listening. Now, November is often a time when we remember people who have died. So let's say a prayer together. God our Father, we pray for our relations and friends who have died. They are on their way to live with you now, and we know they will be very happy. Help them on their journey. Give them our love. We miss them, but we look forward to the day when we shall be with them and with you in heaven. Amen. Now we come to the time when we have to ask for God's forgiveness. So have a little think if there's something you need to say sorry for this week. If you would like to, you can pause the video and discuss it with your grown-ups. Or just have a moment to yourself. Are you ready to sing our sorry song? Here we go. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. If it's big or if it's small, we know God forgives us all. When we say that we are sorry, God forgives. Now let's all stand up to sing our gospel acclamation. Have a dance, sing along, clap if you like. I'll be ready. Alle, alle, alle. to listen to the gospel. Do you remember who wrote the gospels? We spoke about it last week. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Today's gospel is by Matthew so let's do a little cross on our foreheads, a little cross on our lips, a little cross on our heart and we're ready to listen to the gospel. Jesus told this story Three men were given talents. The first was given five. The second was given three. And the third was given one. Then they were left on their own to use their talents. The first man worked hard at his talents and doubled them. The second man also worked hard and he doubled his. The third man kept his a secret and didn't use it at all. When they met the one who had given them their talents, they each told him what they had done. He was pleased with the first man. He was pleased with the second man. He wasn't pleased with the third man. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What 
do you remember from today's reading? Well, there was a man who gave each of his servants some talents. The first two servants used their talents wisely, but the third one, he hid his talent. Why do you think he hid it? Maybe he was scared or worried. Who do you think the man and the servants represent in this story? Maybe the man represents God. And maybe the servants represent us. For God has given us many talents and he would like to see us use them wisely. What talents have you got? My talent is creating and building things. My hobby is gymnastics. My talent is drawing. My talent is singing. La 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 My talent is playing football. I love to play football with my friends and my brother. Talents. What do you think Jesus is trying to tell us in today's parable? Jesus is telling us that it is important to use the gifts that God has given us. We are all good at different things. We all have different skills and talents. Whatever your talent is, Jesus is saying it is important not to hide our talents from others, to keep them to ourselves and never let them grow. Instead, it is going out into the world by sharing our talents and our skills to help others that we serve God. Today you will need a piece of paper, a pencil and maybe some colouring pencils. For today's activity, I would like you to draw a self-portrait. That means a picture of yourself. Now, I've just drawn a stick figure but feel free to let your artistic talents shine. If you're good at writing, label your picture with your talents. Now you can include talents such as football and dance, but let's include some that show how you can use your talents to serve God this week. If you are a bit younger, Perhaps you can use symbols or pictures instead of words. How can we use our talents this week to serve God? Well, if you're good at writing, maybe you could write a prayer and share it with your family. Or if you're good at drawing, perhaps draw a scene from what you remember about today's gospel. Or maybe you could use kind hands by giving somebody a wave or a thumbs up. Let's say a final prayer together. Generous God, you gave us a voice. Help us shout loud for what is right and fair. You gave us ears. Help us to listen to those in need. You gave us talents. Help us share and multiply them for the good of all your people. Amen. Thank you for joining us at Children's Liturgy this week and we hope to see you again next time. Goodbye!